Hi there. I am back to share a picture book with you today that uh, we just love so much in my house. Um, really any book by this author is so, so loved at my house. Um, and the book that we're talking about today is The Bad Seed by Jory John. Um, he's written so many wonderful books um, in this series as well as others. This is such a fantastic book for talking about a variety of topics, but a little bit of background. Um, so in this book, the, the bad seed didn't start off bad. He was good, he had a family, and then something bad happened to him. And as a result of that event, he became a bad seed and he did all the wrong things and he was unkind to others and he didn't listen and so on. And then, one day he kind of makes a decision that he doesn't want to be a bad seed anymore. He wants to be happy. And so he starts doing the right thing more often, not all the time, but more often. Um, and people start to recognize that. All of the other seeds, rather than saying, oh, he's a bad seed, start to recognize that he's not so bad anymore. So this is a great um, book to use when we're talking to kids about trauma or bad events that happen in our lives um, and how they don't have to necessarily define us and define our behavior. Um, it's also a great book to use when we're talking about making choices in terms of our behavior, right? So um, in this book, the bad seed makes the choice to not be so bad anymore and he wants to be happy. So how do we go about doing that? What are the small steps that we can take? So this is just a great springboard for so many of those conversations that we can have with kids, whether it's through um, SEL skill building lessons, maybe that we're doing in a classroom or just you know, through a, an informal conversation we're having with our own kids at home. Uh, there's just a lot packed into this one uh, picture book. So, you know, I am a huge fan of picture books and using them for so many, many, many different things. Um, but this is an, a great example of how um, if we really start to break down, you know, the themes of a book, there are so many things that we can touch on with kids, um, you know, in, in a way that makes sense to them and that they can relate to. So, Hopefully you've read many of Jory John's books, um, but if you haven't, this is a great one. There are so many others. Um, and in this series that I've been doing on picture books, I plan to include a few others. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time.